Hey everyone and welcome to my hair cutting video. I needed to cut my hair for so long. Basically I've been putting it off because I have a kid and when you have a kid you don't have lots of time but it's driving me crazy. I'm literally getting tears when I'm trying to brush my hair. It's just unmanageable and I really miss my layers because I have such thick heavy hair. So this is how you cut your hair exactly the way that you want to. Last time I had a couple comments that I hold my scissors wrong and I'm going to tell you a secret why. <laughs> I'm not a professional so I'm not going to be holding these the right way. If you're interested in my makeup look I will link it down below for you. I also did this live on you now so make sure to check out my link down below. It is a live broadcasting site. So here it is step by step how I do choppy layers at home. It is so quick and easy. Think of all the money that you'll save doing this at home. You'll have the hair that you want. No more trusting the hairdressers. I know what a trim means to them. It's something like here. No thank you. I'll link my last layer video down below. If you have curly hair, I recommend that you keep your hair dry because of the bounce back. If this is your first time cutting your hair, make sure you just take little bits at the end and work your way up for the layers and you will see it is so easy. Just take your scissors and when I show where I cut, just take less. Every time that you cut your own hair, you're gonna gain confidence and you're actually gonna enjoy the process because you're in control. So let's get started with these quick, easy layers. First, you're gonna need a brush. I'm using a tangle teaser. You're gonna need some clips and some scissors. These are Oster scissors and I got mine from Sally's and I believe they were about 14 bucks. You don't need to spend $100 on scissors unless you really want to. These will do just fine. Just make sure that they are sharp, good scissors. And a comb. Mine is just a Cricut comb and I got mine from Chatter Salon. You're also going to need a method to wet your hair. You can use a spray bottle or shower. Whatever, you just need a bucket of water. So I'm just going to wet my hair and I'll be right back. Alright, so my hair is wet. I'm just going to brush out my hair. Good enough. Alright, so I'm taking my comb and I'm going to be splitting it above my ears. You're just going to bunch this hair on top of your head, like so. It's so hot my hair is already dry. How long this step takes will greatly depend on how thick your hair is. I'm going to just split this layer in half and clip it up. Now take your scissors and decide how long you want your hair. I want mine just below my boobs. So I'll be taking about that much off. See the difference? Okay, we're going to repeat that on the other side. So to make sure that your layers are the same, take about the same amount of hair from both sides, about the same place, and pull at an equal tension and see if they end at the same time. I think this side is just slightly longer, so I'll just take it a little bit shorter. Good. Or you can just take it in front of you and touch it together and see if they're kind of at the same place. We're going to let down that layer that we put up and basically repeat what we did here. You're going to be using your first hair that you cut as your guide. If the layer is too thick and you can't see the hair that you cut before, just put some back. Same thing on the other side. So now we're just going to bring hair down layer by layer and just keep cutting until it's all one length.
So when you get up here, you're just going to make little horse shoe sections. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Just like this. Clip away as usual. So now your first layer is done. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? It's pretty straightforward. You just cut it straight across and you can decide how short you go. So your next step is to take your comb and to make a layer above your ear all the way across and put this hair up on the top <laughs> like this. That's why we have two clips handy. Now take the hair that is left out and I'm just gonna make a quick little braid and now I'm gonna pop this braid into my shirt. That way I'm not gonna make my bottom layer any shorter and I'll keep the length that I want. Also, I make it into a braid so that it's not accidentally mistaken as hair that I need to cut. Tuck it into your shirt. I know that's weird. <laughs> so next step, we're gonna let this bundle that you have on top of your head down. And you're going to part your hair the way that you wear it every day. I always wear my hair on this side. So I'll just part it over here. Comb or brush my hair again. So make sure all of your hair is in the front and that it is kind of divided in half. Here is how we're going to cut our layers. I'm going to need a mirror for that. Sorry, I'll be looking down into my mirror. So my first step to cutting layers, you're going to create some tension on the hair. If it's your first time doing this, you're gonna start at the bottom and get a feel for it before you start where you actually want to. Kind of as like a little practice though. So I want layers around my face. So I want to do it just slightly longer than my face. Probably to the middle of your chin is a good place. You can do it slightly longer or shorter if you want. I'm gonna create some tension and I'm going to do little motions with my scissor as I'm running the scissors and the tension down my hair at the same time. So that first little piece is kind of going to be my guide. I'll be using this little section that I just cut as my guide for around my hair. Basically you're going to run your scissors down to the ends. So I'm going to do a layer around my jawline area I'm going to make little snippets. So I know that I kind of want to have my starting layer around this area. I'm just going to grab random pieces of hair and start running my scissors down my hair while I'm creating tension. The reasons why I like layers is one, my hair is so thick, two, when my hair is really long it doesn't hold any curl so it makes it easier for me to have a style stay in my hair. Once you've created your short layers, you're going to just grab slightly below that, a couple inches maybe, and you're just going to continue running your scissor down while you're creating your tension.
Also with more layers, it shows my curls a lot better. If you like backcombing your hair, your backcomb will stay better because your hair is lighter. So now I'm grabbing slightly lower than my middle layer. And I will kind of do the same thing. At this point, I'm kind of grabbing the whole tail and creating tension all at once. I'll kind of just keep running my hands through until I feel that I have a nice um, layer created. It's still pretty heavy and it's not all short on the top, so I'll just keep going from top to bottom. You're going to come to a place where when you take a section and then you take another section you're going to feel that the next section is either thinner or thicker you want to kind of have them the same consistency so you have about the same layers in each section i can feel the layers this one has slightly less so i'm going to work on this section a little bit And then I'll combine this bottom section again and work on that as a whole. As you work your way down your hair, you're going to notice that this section here is getting pretty thin and that's kind of what you want. So here you go. This is a side with layers. Can you see the movement and the flow? And this is my side with none. It's just heavy and limp. So I'm pretty happy with this side, I think. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing on this side. Also, I would like to mention that I have zero product in my hair. So whatever movement that you're seeing, that's actually my hair getting more life and getting more volume just by the way that it's cut. The reason why we had our hair wet is because when you get to the stage, your scissors will run through nice and smooth. Mine is getting more choppy and more choppy, mostly because my hair has dried, but that's okay with me. If you do find one layer is too choppy for your liking, I actually like it like that. You can just take it and you can either layer on top of it small little scissor cuts or you can take it and just cut into it to make it softer and you'll just be cutting into the ends here and it will take that edge off of it and make it less noticeable. I like chunky layers. So when you think you are pretty good with your layer situation, just kind of make sure that they are about the same length. So you want to kind of just grab a section from both sides and kind of meet in the middle. 
I'm pretty happy with that just to make sure that they are the same. So I'm going to actually be grabbing a section like about one or two inches from my part on both sides just so that it is the same distance on both sides. And I want to just make sure that they are kind of the same length. Once you're done checking it, just kind of take it out of the way. I usually like adding a couple extra layers to the back of my hair as well. And I'll show you that. Now you can release your braid from the back and you can either make a tiny little bit of a transition to your layer if you want, which I will because you can see there's a lot of layers and then not that many. So I'm pretty happy with that. I just have a slight transition so that it's not just like, I'll just be repeating that on the other side. So if you're curious about how much hair I took off, I was carrying all this extra hair with me. I can't believe it. That's crazy. So you can just see how much volume there is naturally now and all the layers I'm really happy with it I hope you give it a try and make sure to leave a comment if you liked it. I'll link my whole playlist for hair down below. So this is just blow dried with some herbal essence volumizing mousse and a paddle brush. No other products.
just obsessed. Love, love, love it. I'll try and include a clip of my hair when it's curly because that is off the chain. <laughs> And here is my hair curled. You can see how much movement there is from all the layers. Thanks for watching. Love yous. Where is my comb? Where is my comb? My father already got my comb. You're just going to want to make little horse shoe sections.